So here's a view of the SpaceX rocket taking up. Ooh, wow, that was fast. That can't be a SpaceX rocket. Nope, it's not. It's a real rocket. Oh, here's fake stuff. That's SpaceX on there, yeah. All right, those two on the bottom are, we're told those, those two bottom shots are the two different rockets landing on each of the two different pads. See how there's like a big bullseye one and then there's a like lesser pad which is odd because wouldn't wouldn't they be the same size? And the one in the foreground has much more flair to the CGI or whatever it is that they're doing a projection or whatever. And the one in the background looks like they're landing on different pads but here it looks like they're landing on the same pad. Is it two rockets or one? I'm confused. I see two rockets landing on two different pads. There are two pads. Each pad is of a different shape. One is like bigger with a bullseye, like a Target store logo. Um, so here we are on an ocean pad and we're seeing these rockets. Oh, what was that? And uh, I don't know what that shine is from the top. But these people tell me it's real, so it is. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, sure, sure. So, let's say you have like a, what, is it 50,000 pounds? You have a 50,000 pound tower and you put it on a rolling ship. You don't have to strap it down. These idiots strap things down on flatbed trucks and such. No, you can put a pole on the back of a flatbed truck because that is way less motion than the ocean. But SpaceX is showing us, guys, all you, all you real workers out there, you know, who know how to use straps and chains and tethers and bolts and things like that, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time with those bolts and straps. Look, strap a rocket to the bottom of it and fly it around. See here, you can do it in simulation with a quadricopter and it's so easy man you'll get it eventually after enough takes you know to just kind of land it on there just make sure that the pool water is still because if you manage to land it you know well you don't have to worry about it tipping over it's only top heavy you know why would you worry about it tipping over So as you clicked on this video, I assume that you know a into a model rocket um, instead of the previous six motors on the version one. Hover. Is that loud? Is that a bit loud? <laughs> See here, real people making rockets, they have to re-engineer the engineering, if you want to call it that, of SpaceX to make it actually almost work. You'll see them putting fins on the back end of it, like an arrow. You know, arrows have been around for a while. Arrows flew before rockets, and you know what arrows have on the back end of them is, are fins. Um, I guess nobody was smart enough to think about arrows landing on their back end so the arrows didn't have legs but when arrows flew they had fins that keeps them going in a straight direction well wait a minute we don't want to go in straight direction when we fly rockets we want to we want to go at an angle 
to escape Earth's gravity, we want to hug the surface of the Earth, which is flat, but we know that it's round when we can't see it. It's spherical, so we want to follow that curve already. Even though we can't see the curve yet, we want that rocket to go sideways and curve downward when it's about, you know, just maybe like above cruising or at cruising altitude of an airliner. Because you know that when you're on a flight on an airline uh, at, let's say, 40,000 feet, you can feel that there's less gravity, right? Because when that seatbelt sign goes off and you unclick your seatbelt, you just kind of float up and you just kind of make a swimming motion, you know, up by where you put your overhead luggage in the overhead bin, you know, and you just kind of, kind of float your way over people to the bathroom and, and whatnot, you know. And that's why the bathroom, the toilets at the in the airliners, they suck you know, so hard, you know, because the, the, the water and whatever else is in the toilet, they would float up because there's no gravity because you're so high. Wait, there is gravity, okay. But for some reason, they want to fly sideways. Anyway, um, but when you make model rockets, you know, uh, they kind of, for some reason, they kind of spin out of control and it could be because there's a rocket engine pushing from the bottom and it's a stick, it's a rod, it's a pole. And you know, like if you hold a pencil and you have the writing end pointing straight up and you have the eraser end down, you put your finger on the eraser end and you push up, it just, yeah, it kind of does that. Now, see, even that's too fast. If you go fast enough, you're kind of flying like an arrow. You'll go straight. But that's not what SpaceX does. They fly slow, like a, like letting a balloon go, for example. And then right away, they start to turn, like I said. You know, you're, you're at, like, climbing altitude of an airliner, and you're already leaning at a 45-degree angle. And... You know, when you're on the ground level and you're looking at it, they say, oh, it appears to be going sideways because you're looking up at it. Wait a minute. Why do this, why does the flame, the exhaust plume, end up, up, well, end up? And then why do they, why do they have these, like, it's, it's as if they're hiding something, you know? Because, have you seen these orange lights projecting? Have you ever been at a launch and you look and you see these bright orange lights and these other things in the clouds around there that are like solid objects? I know they look like clouds. I know they do. But, uh, are they? Do they blow in the wind? Or do they kind of hang around? Do, do some clouds blow in the wind and other clouds not blow in the wind? I don't know. If SpaceX, if those very, very smart, honest people who report and cheer uh, and tell me about the launches don't tell me about these clouds, then there's no reason to be any have any concern about what these clouds are or are not um, in fact if I question it I'm afraid that I will be questioned oh why because I deigned to question the official narrative from the very honest and very trustworthy people making money off of something that is not ridiculous, it's science, to go to a place where there is nothing and to put a dummy mannequin in a car to go to a an orange light in the sky. 
that is represented by CGI pictures and videos, animations. It's in movies. Um, yeah, I don't want to question that because then I'll be called crazy. But it's not crazy to say that you're sending a mannequin in a car to Mars because people are going to live there. Um, because they're going to terraform it because they have to or they want to or because it's science. Um, okay. <laughs> I just love it.